on today's ProPresenter show using Renewed Vision's new line background tool. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with Renewed Vision software, ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Well, Pro 6 has been out for a little bit of time, and you might think, well, there's nothing new coming. It's just bug fixes from here, except you're wrong. Yep, they've announced a new feature, and uh, if you haven't upgraded recently, or unfortunately if you're on Windows, then either way, you probably don't know about it, but if you have, you might be wondering what it does and uh, how to use it. So let's over, head over to my computer and take a look. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to do this, how to add a what I called a black highlight underneath the text. Well, in some of the more recent versions of ProPresenter, Renewed Vision has made that even easier to do. So. Let's uh, go ahead and first apply a different template so that we can get rid of that. Uh, so maybe just um, let's see here. Maybe this one. Yep. And that'll do it just to show you the difference. Now we'll, we'll right click, edit slide and make sure you go into this font choice and we're going to scroll all the way down here first uh, select the text and you'll see if you're upgraded to one of the latest versions if you don't have this and you're on a mac this is very important it hasn't been created for the windows version of ProPresenter 6 yet it was actually a special build for uh, one of the worship conferences, I think, and they thought, well, we've already done the work. We might as well just throw that into the live version of Pro 6, and so that's what they did. Anyway, but they built it for the Mac version. They haven't built it for the PC as I'm doing this in June of 2017. So anyway, assuming you've got one of the latest builds, you should see this down here. Click on Line Background. Now, that really is hard to see if you're using a black fill color with this. So what I'm going to have you do is click on fill color and go for something really obnoxious like, uh, say, sea foam. Yeah, now that's easy to see. We're not going to leave it that way necessarily. But I just want to demonstrate just uh, some of the features here. This height offset... Um, when you go negative, it will separate out the lines. See? So, and I can make that very small there. So that's one thing that you can do is make it two lines instead of one. And the other thing is the vertical offset, which allows you to change where it sits. So if I go negative, then it counterintuitively goes higher. If I go positive, more positive it goes lower. I'm going to put that back to zero. So let's say that that's how I wanted it. Now as a final step I'll go back and turn it back black. So by doing that now I can go back here and bring that in and it's in right there. Now, of course, I could turn that into a template and apply it to all the others, etc., whatever I wanted to do. But I just wanted to show you that quick little trick that's been added in one of the latest builds of ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I hope that gives you some ideas about how you can use the Line Background tool. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. And there you can uh, pick up a copy of my email newsletter, along with some tips, tricks, etc. And uh, some invitations to things like my live in-person training, which I'm 
uh, doing more and more of. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.